Hello everyone. I hope you're all okay or as well as you can be in this current situation. My name is Jo and I'm an artist and I work for Space2. And I've come along today to show you some things that you can get yourselves occupied with and make some lovely things for Christmas. So we're going to run a series of Christmas craft workshops over Zoom and over videos like this. So this is my first time filming something like this, so I hope you'll bear with me. Now the first project we're going to do is making a grass gift basket. Um, this is an example of one that I made earlier. So it's just a very simple dish, but made with very natural materials in the core. So during this video I'm going to show you how to turn this stuff, which is all kinds of dried grasses and ferns, and some raffia into a dish or a basket like this. Now you can use lots of different materials to make the core of the basket. That's what this stuff is for. And most of this stuff you can go and collect for free in the environment. Um, the main thing to say though is that it needs to be dried out because if you use fresh damp material it will make your basket very loose as the material dries out. So as a general rule, whatever colour the thing is, when you pick it, it will stay that colour. So for example, this grass has stayed green because that was the colour when I picked it. So we also can use ferns. I've experimented with lots of other different materials. For example, this basket is made out of corn that I grew this year on my allotment. And again, I just dried out the leaves and then used the leaves to make the rope. And this is another example of a different shape you can make. Um, this one was made with bamboo. And you can see how it's very green, this one, because I picked the bamboo when it was green and dried it out immediately. So the only other material you would need to make these baskets is this stuff, which is raffia. Now, raffia you can buy from a lot of garden centres or craft shops but we'll be providing you with a little set of materials so you can have a go at these crafts. Now, this is how the raffia comes when it's bought from the shop. That's its natural colour. What I've done with this raffia is I've dyed it with onion skins. So I save all my brown onion skins, boil it up in a big cauldron, and then steep the raffia in it to get this kind of colour, which I prefer. Now you'll notice when you use the raffia that it comes in all different shapes and sizes. So you get some thicker bits like this. Now they will be really good for use of the sewing of the basket. So all of these lines here are the stitches that we're going to make with the thick raffia. You'll find you also get some really thin bits of raffia and this is what we're going to use to do the binding. So when we're making these baskets, we start off by binding the grasses together in a rope. And once we've got a good length of rope, then we can start stitching using a large basketry needle like this. So what I'll do, this is, this is one I've made earlier. So you can see we've got the rope there. And then as we stitch it together, you start to get these lines which, as well as being decorative, are holding the shape together. So I'm just going to start, show you how to start off now, and I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera so you can see more closely. So I'm getting some thin raffia, and I'm starting off just with some quite thin, delicate grasses. You can see I've got some much thicker, twiggier bits in here, and then some softer parts. It's better to use the thinner, softer bits to start your basket. So I'll get a few here and I'm going to come a bit closer to you. So in my hand here, I've got some of the basket materials which I've then folded together in my hands and if you can see how I hold the materials in the hand and then I'm going to keep my thumb loose because my thumb is what's going to hold the raffia while we get, get banded. 
So to start off with, I try and do this without using any knots. So I'm going to put this piece of raffia under my thumb initially and then start twisting it round to bind and make a rope. So as you can see, I do leave a bit of a gap in between the raffia and the grasses and I always keep hold of the raffia. You have to keep it really tight or obviously this rope will just unravel. So leave a bit of space and then you can see the different colours of the grasses. So I always start my ropes with a fairly thin diameter like this. But what we're going to do is get slightly thicker so in order to do that, we need to add a bit more materials. So when I'm adding materials, rather than getting a big chunk, you want to add little and often. So I'm putting a little bit in here and binding it round again. And it's always about keeping hold of that piece of raffia, because if you let go, it's all going to go loose and your materials are all going to escape all over the place. So you can do this bit fairly quick when you get the hang of it. So as you can see now, my rope's fairly thin and quite flexible at the start and that's because we're going to need it to bend like that. So I'm going to add a bit more material now. And if you put material on the edge of your basket, then the colours will show up. So I'll show you this with the fern. So there we go, and you can see the contrast now between the fern and the green grasses. So just keep going with your rope, and when you need to add a bit more material, just push the material into the centre of your rope. Like that. And just by feel, you should be able to tell whether the rope's about the right diameter. So that's a little bit thick there. I'm going to take a little bit out. There we go. That's it. So it takes a bit of practice to learn how to do this rope, but you'll get the hang of it quite quickly. So now what's going to happen is this raffia piece is going to run out. So I'm going to show you how to add a new bit of raffia in because we don't want to be tying ropes while we're making a basket. So if you can take a new piece, and if I just show you how I'm holding this old piece with my hands, I've got that between my fingers, I'm holding the core material with the thumb and two fingers there, and what we're gonna do now is get the end of the new piece of raffia, put that under my thumb, Wrap over once with the old bit and then pull that downwards. And then you can see the, the new piece of raffia is looped in and then we can continue with the new piece to wrap round. So we've got a nice long piece of raffia now. So hopefully you can see all that close up. I'm going to go back to the table and sit down and just do a bit more rope and then we'll move on to the stitching. So here we go, we're making the rope, we're adding a little bit more material in and we're wrapping round as fast as we can. And you'll find your own way of putting your hands on your basket but just try, as I say, to keep it nice and tight and don't let go of your raffia. Just find a way that makes it comfortable for you. So, the next stage, once you've made a little length of rope, I would usually make a bit more than this, is to tie this raffia off and then to start the stitching process. So I'll just come closer and show you how to tie. So we've got a piece of raffia here and all of our loose grass sticking out of the end 